We've had a handful of readers recently ask about what technique can be used to bullnose an edge. First off, let's talk about what this means, bullnosing. This board already has it done. Bullnosing is when we completely round over the edge of a board. I would do this pretty commonly if I'm making solid wood shelves. I like how that looks to have a round over top and bottom. And what we're trying to make happen here is that the radius of this complete round over, the radius of this bullnose, bullnose matches half the thickness of our material. So a couple things are critical here. If you're gonna do a bullnose, we wanna have our material machined in thickness to a specific number. So in this case, I'm gonna make my bullnose happen with a 3 8 round over bit. So I've got my material machined to a pretty darn perfect 3 quarter inch thickness. One inch material, half inch round over. Half inch material, quarter inch round over. So what'll happen is that by rounding over from the bottom, flipping it, rounding over again, we're gonna, in a couple of passes here, achieve our bullnose. Let's get this bit in the table and then we'll come back and have a look at our setup. Getting the height of the cutter right for the first pass is a critical step. Here's what I'm looking for. See how this cutter, like many cutters, has a corner right here on the router bit. That has to be below the surface of the table. If it comes up too high, you're going to ruin your bull nose. So I'm looking at that relationship, and we can check it by coming in this way. I'm going to go just a little bit lower. I'd rather be too low on this first pass than too high. That takes care of the height of the cutter. Setting the fence is easy peasy. We're going to bring the face of the fence forward until it's even with the ball bearing on the router bit. And then our pass, our cuts, are simple. We're going to make a pass, flip it over, make a pass, check the results. Best thing to do is to have a test board exactly the same thickness as your target material, so you can do the test passes in that board before you cut the real deal. Plug my router in, we'll see what we look like here. All right, here's what's going on. We're not done, and I can tell we're not done because of this shoulder right here. What we're looking for is a perfect transition from the round over into the flat of, the, of our material. The bit is too low. Now you gotta be very conservative as you go here because if I raise the cutter too much, the corner of the bit is gonna start to hit the face of the material and we're gonna develop a shoulder up here. So I'm gonna raise the bit just a little and then it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. Try one more little bit here. That's looking pretty good. What I'm looking for is the way the curve 
flows right out into the flat of our material. We really want this nose to look like half a circle. That's the bullnose part of this. Now, what happens if our material is the wrong thickness? Well, I can't then get this perfect half circle. So, of course, I can always round over both edges. But to really achieve a bull nose, the material has to be twice as thick as the radius of your roundover bit. And that's going to take care of cutting bull noses on your router table.